What's up, everybody? This is T Squared from Stray Rippin, and today we're gonna be taking a look at some gameplay, Construct King of the Hill, from my boy Rubber. Nice BR shots there by uh, by this guy, and takes down snipe down with the snipe. That was a huge kill because you don't want one of the best snipers in the league taking uh, control of one of the streets. So the hill's moving in 10 seconds. Uh, he should probably be trying to set up for the new bottom hill. He could have went into the hill. Uh, that snipe spawn and milk probably another like 10 or 15 seconds for his team but he decides to come up here top gold and get a kill it's really useless as you can see the hill was moving and uh, assassinates a guy from the front that was pretty lucky but uh, he's stuck right now top gold and really he's not doing anything because hills at the bottom so what, what I'm seeing from him is uh, is not really good awareness on what's going on with the hill game he's kinda just wandering around like I was saying so he's gonna do the same move again probably throwing two nades and then charging up mid ramp different scenario this time because Brian had good shots and he can get double teamed. So I mean, he's, he's kind of playing repetitive, he's not really looking to get control, he's, he's in a median right now of not playing aggressive, but not playing passive. He needs to he needs to pick what he's going to do and stick with it. Can't just keep charging the hill over and over again hoping to get one kill. There's a smart move waiting right there for his teammate to help shoot. They take him down and he gets in the hill. This is the first time I've seen him really go for the objective. Uh, someone ended up dropping out on him. So he started playing for, with his team, and it was paying off for a little bit, but then he ends up getting killed. Uh, that may change his mentality. He wants You're going to want to still play with your team even though you're getting objective. You should assume that when you're in the hill that you're going to die, and you can't get mad when you die in the hill. So you get Sniper right here. Again, you can see him doing very repetitive things. He keeps charging mid-ramp, keeps grenading the hill. I would try to change what I'm doing a little bit, Obviously, it's not working. The score, they're almost down by 100 seconds. Obviously, what he's doing isn't working. So he should maybe try playing a little more greedy or trying to follow one of his teammates. Just like that. That was good team shooting. Hopefully, they can take down Elamite right there, which they do. See, now they're up by one man. It's three on three on two, I believe, right now. Yeah, it is. So three on two, uh, it's unfortunate that guy died mid-ramp, but... It was a really good team shot by them, and they need to continue to do that in order to stay in this game. Nice PR right there. I would have done the same thing. You're, you're going to want to check the lifts. Sometimes what you can do is you can sit on one of the streets, and you can see both lifts and sword. So uh, rockets are coming up. He knows that, and he grabs them. He messed up the respawn time. That could come back to bite him. So if you pick a weapon up as it's respawning or if you're under the weapon, it's going to mess up the spawn time. And the spawn time is completely random, and you're not going to know when the rockets are coming back up again. I don't know why he chased right there low. He probably could have fallen back to orange and spawned his teammates close street. But instead, he didn't think about that and ended up uh, falling back down. When the hill's up top, there's nothing worse than going down low and spawning your teammates there. Whenever one of my teammates in matchmaking spawns me down low while the hill's up top, I just want to rip my hair out, and I don't have much hair. A lot of spawns in Construct revolve around being in a really powerful position, a spawn position. For example, Close Street. If you're on Close Street, you're usually going to spawn with your teammate there. If you're a sword, you're going to spawn a sword. All of the good teams know when another team's going to try to spawn someone there, so you're going to want to try to kill somebody as fast as you can in that position. The best spots to spawn your teammate is anywhere up top. Close Street, Open Street, Sword, Lobby. But the worst spot to ever be caught in is definitely mid gold or blue ramp, spawning O2 or C2, like on the open or close floors below the lifts, and then spawning at snipe spawn when the hill's up top. Those are definitely the worst spots. Anything down low is the worst possible thing. But this is a good spawn. He's just got a split spawn with his teammates. He threw a questionable nade uh, into the hill before that. He blew up his cover again. Um, this guy's grenades. He hasn't really gotten any grenade kills, but he's giving away his position. If I see a grenade flying at me, I'm going to look where it came from, and that's why he's getting predicted so hard. Nice team shot. See, what they're doing right now is rolling together. His teammate's behind him, and he gets the double kill, but then gets killed from the grave. So, I mean... Rolling with your teammates is really important in this game type. If you have someone up top with you pushing into one of the purples and there's two guys there, you'll have the advantage because they're stuck in a little room while you have so much area on the map to go around. So uh, he grabs a sniper and lifts back up. Looks like he's going to try to play a little more greedy here. He gets the, the no scope there, the quick scope right there. He gets the double kill. This is good, but he may have been able to help his team a little bit more by staying in the hill and getting about 15 seconds. 
it's a 50-50 call. When you're down by so much, you want to try to kind of make the score respectable or try to get your teammates together for a comeback, and you're not going to do that by uh, going close street, getting two kills, and then dying. All right, we're going to cut it early right here. I think we all know how this one's going to end. Let's take a look at how Rugburn did. So for pros, I would definitely say that Rugburn has a solid BR. He has really good shots, and he seemed to have a pretty decent sniper rifle. One thing he needs to work on is not charging the hill so much. A lot of times what he did was he charged threw a grenade, blew up his position, they saw him, and then they killed him. He needs to work on rolling with his teammates a lot more and playing more of a team game. Once you have the shot down, that's probably the easiest part of the game. The hardest part is working as a team, getting a team together, and finding your role as a player. So maybe what he could do is go out, find three players just like himself, around the same skill level, form a team, and then find out how good he really is. Overall, I'd give Rugburn a C. He has a really good BR. He has solid shots. He seems to have pretty good map movement, but he needs to work on moving with his teammates and the team aspect of the game a lot more. All right, guys, this is T-Squared signing out. I've been your instructor for today. I hope you enjoyed and learned something from the video. If you want to see more videos or submit your gameplay to be reviewed, go to mlgpro.com slash more to it.